Man, what's that chest hair gonna look like on PS5? Oh, man. I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. He'll stay here until his textures are fully loaded. <laughs> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. Nobody else is as good with the cure material. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never going to let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough! to him. But... Who, who now? That's the first time that... That's the first time that name has been said, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Please. I need some time to think. Cloud's dropping that you're not supposed to understand what he's talking about yet. Okay. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? I don't like any of you, but I will lay out a futon. <laughs> you can hang up your bat on the wall. I have a pull-out couch that's just so big. <laughs> Hold on, I have to put two futons together for Barrett. Oh my god, he would not fit in that bed. Look no, at him. No, no. I'm, con I'm convinced that if he sat on it, it would just snap in two. Oh, we can finally get the treasure. Oh. No, we got it last episode. Oh, it's... sorry. Yeah, it's uh, the talisman, the thing that makes summons stronger. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, so this upcoming scene, uh, can be one of three different things. Uh, you know, this whole time there's been a bunch of dialogue choices, and I said they all add up to something. Uh, a lot mm -hmm. of the dialogue choices and other actions you do in the game change, uh, who you have a heart-to-heart -to, -heart to here. Oh. Uh, so we ended up with, with Tifa. She's probably the easiest one to get, but you can also have... I would be aiming for Wedge. Ah. Uh, now that should be some DLC. He's healed, miraculously! Yay! Yeah, we can also get scenes for Aerith and Barrett that we'll see at the end of this episode. But Aerith's captured. Do you just call her on the phone? It's... something happens, you'll see. Can't sleep? No. You too? I heard footsteps. Yeah, it wakes up people around here all the time. Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. I'm a light sleeper. It's a soldier thing. <sighs> that flower you gave me the other night? That was from Aerith, wasn't it? When you do soldier training, do you have to do like the standard like army training thing of learning how to shit really fast? <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was something weird going on. You buying flowers? You, you play a real-life version of Don't Wake Daddy, but you're daddy. <laughs> they symbolize reunion, believe it or not. I was curious, so I looked it up. I tried to keep it alive as long as I could. But now... It's dead and buried. <sighs> like the bar. Our home? And everything else. <laughs> Look, you're having a lot of feelings right now, and that's not what I need. Oh, man. Oh, too many feelings. I'll make it happen, Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hug me! <laughs> they took everything from us. Again. High five, you missed so far. <laughs> oh man. Cloud. Huh? Cloud, you're hurting me. Uh, he's just really out of practice. Yeah. It's stupid. I know that crying's a waste of time. 
That's not true. <laughs> Thank you. If you don't cry, your fan cam will be incomplete. <laughs> it's very important for everyone to cry at least once. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. Just love how ever-present all these, these plastic jug models are in every set. Oh, yeah. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. And, like, she's on the way to President Shinra, <sighs> like... It's really convenient, actually. <laughs> I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day, I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. Hmm. You think she'd get along with Cloud's mom? Daddy! Yeah, probably. <laughs> They'd probably go to the same hairdresser. Are you going? <sighs> I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. Daddy's got to go and level up, though. I wish I could be with you all. Daddy's got a big gun for an really arm. Do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Hmm? It's real hard to hug with the gun. <sighs> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? <sighs> Aww, but he can make it work anyway. Mm-hmm. He's got practice. <clears throat> and that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kinda... <gasps> yeah, I know. <laughs> what? Nothing. You should help her. You know what I mean, Dad, right? You, we you, will. you know. She was kinda... <laughs> Of course, I promise. <sighs> okay. You can go. <laughs> Aww. I like that I like that Marlene can barely even hug her dad's neck. <laughs> yeah, but she's still commander of Avalanche. She <laughs> approves all the missions. It's true, yeah. Barrett. She's tougher than me. Now it's my turn to cry. All right, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. <gasps> Plorb. Plorb. So, how are we supposed to get topside? With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high alert. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan, then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo. Do we still have those dresses? Let's just put them on again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they make anything in <laughs> Barrett's size. All of Barrett's clothes are custom. Yeah. Pedometer material. Oh, you're going to get your steps in. Hell yeah. Yeah, so the pedometer material, it literally just tracks how many steps you're taking right now. <laughs> But there's a goal of 5,000 steps, and you, if you reach that, something good happens. So, yeah, we've just got to keep uh. it equipped to track the steps. <laughs> yeah, it's, this one is, you know, impossible to miss, but uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it is a very, very good materia, eventually. You have to prove to Aerith that you would walk 500 miles. Yeah. The, the pedometer materia is basically the same thing as... Uh, you know, just waiting for a Pokemon egg to hatch to yeah. figure out what you got. 
<laughs> yeah, one of the professors or a gym leader gifted you an egg, and it's like, oh man, what is it? Hey lady, I'm here to raid your house. Hey. Take care of my girl. I'll look after Marlene and Wedge. Don't worry. I know we said goodbye already, but Barrett is really clingy and has to say goodbye a second time. Good luck, you guys. I'll keep everyone safe. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. <laughs> okay, we'll hang up on one, two, three. You didn't hang up. <laughs> can we give Marlene a gun arm? <laughs> can we give Marlene two guns? One gun arm and one regular gun. Yeah. Hey, Wedge. Me too, man. Mr. Smalls. He's gonna eat his cat. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Uh, it's easy to miss, but earlier in this video, uh, when you first see the shot of Wedge, you know, just sleeping in bed, uh, Marlene does have Mr. Smalls in her lap. So Aww. the cat is fine. I'm sad that, like, if you walk around here in the yard, you don't see the cat anywhere. I wish it was just hanging out somewhere. I have to assume, being cats, all of the cats are safe. Yeah, like they the only, found a way. Yeah, you only see one, but if like one of those survived, they they're all probably good. W Wedge mumbling about his cat and cheeseburgers in his sleep uh, reminded me of uh, a time my mom was trying to wake me up when I was like twelve or something on a, like a really lazy Saturday, and I mumbled to her my first words of the day. Message boards. <laughs> I just, I, <laughs> I just really like posts on forums, man. And and that that made you the man you are today. <laughs> I, I've, uh, ever since I was about eight or nine, I've dreamt about posting. <laughs> My fellow grounders, listen up, because boy, do I have some news for you. She's back. She's back. The pickpocket girl is back. So after bombing reactors one and five, what do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7. Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage. The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame. But wait! Did you know Wutai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wutai. Puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. She would be a fun party truth. member if this were the, the like ears. Fire Emblem permadeath game. Kill. Kill. <laughs> yeah. Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wu Tai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them, we got them. Uh, Does this mean there will be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gill apiece. Cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu Tai. I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit? <sighs> no one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. Please don't shoot that lady in the street. <laughs> Come on, Barrett. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what-ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, their Don't. hair is so shiny. Everyone's so shiny. There, there's at least some products from the upper plate that, that trickle down here, I guess, and it's all hair related. Mako shampoo is really good. So we're not quite, we're not like at the end game yet, but we are at a point of no return. Okay. So you gotta do your, your side quests now. Yeah, if you don't do well, them now... Well, side questing's good. Yeah, if you don't do any of your side quests now, uh, then, you know, you're out of luck until New Game Plus or something. Uh, cause yeah, there is still a, a decent chunk of game left, but uh, we're almost done with side questing. 
but this chapter has a, a whole bunch of new side quests and, and some other optional content. I know we're short on time, but let's try to help out wherever we can. And now the latest on last night's I'm just real freaked out at Chocobo Sam's employee breaking down weeping. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what did Chocobo Sam do now? Oh man. Now that the plate has dropped, they can't even maintain video for the news. Yeah, it's just a slideshow. How far could they have gone? Oh, Cloud! Have you seen the kids around by any chance? I haven't seen them since they left to do their patrols. I knew I should have told them to That's stay right. Today. Chocobo Sam has moved on the trafficking children. <laughs> <Could you tell laughs> That's what that guy's anyway? breaking down. I can describe them if it had helped. Don't worry. I'll know. I know what kids Just look like. Home. Yeah. They're smaller people. <laughs> they might come back on their own. Okay? Yes, of course. Barrett was drawn to this lady because he always follows Stamp. Mm. Lady, your skirt is of utmost importance to Avalanche. <laughs> Where is it pointing? Uh, so some of these side quests, especially like the ones for finding the kids, it's just like you have no fucking clue. You just got to run around and look. Uh, mm -hmm. But this entire chapter... Um, is kind of like the closest you get to like an open world section too, where uh, everything from the church all the way through Wall Market is all available to to run around in. Oh, nice! Yeah, nice. So can revisit some older areas and stuff. Basically, the only place we can't really go back to is Sector Seven. I hope you will yeah. continue to help me gather vital information for my research. What you got? What you got? What you got, Chadley? Need some more steadfast block. So yeah, I'll I'll talk about it a little bit later when we're uh in the middle of some some optional fights here. But uh, I already edited it into the episode that's going up later today. But uh, so there's a new version of this game coming out later this year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, very fortuitous that it seems the amount of updates we should have left to reach the end of the game will reach right before, just a little bit after the PS5 version comes out. Hmm. Well, that's nice. So that lines up very well with the story DLC. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Hey, I know you. You're it's Aaron's Louis Theroux. <laughs> I could really use some help. She always knew where to find the best. Oh, is this like a new Netflix exclusive series her, he's doing? I bet it is. I used up all my meds treating people injured when the plate fell, you see. I could make more, but not without those herbs. So what do you need? Herbs? You mean you're willing to help me out? Oh, thank you. Do Don't you listen? He needs favor. herbs. <laughs> Here's a list of everything I'm looking for. Yeah, there's one item on the list. It says herbs. Herbs. Just <laughs> written very big. Uh, but yeah, if we do look at that, uh, we need so a Moogle's Mortar, uh, some flowers from Aerith, and a, a behemoth horn from the underground lab, which seems like Ooh. a big trek out of the way. Seems like a bit of an ask. Yeah, it's, uh... I mean, okay, but... It's, it's, whatever you give me better be really fucking good. <laughs> I know one guy to ask about the Moogle Mortar, I guess. Yeah. We, uh, when we were here previously, much earlier in the Let's Play, I completely forgot to go inside the orphanage. Oh. There's not a ton here, but you can go in. Tom Petty is here. That's nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, on top of the, the improvements that, that's getting added to the PS5 version, there is some story DLC being added. Thank, thankfully, it seems like it's entirely stuff meant to be played after you beat the game. Although I was partially correct, it does look like it takes place in the uh, the time frame I thought the DLC would, which was uh, right after Aerith, you know, falls into Aerith's church, mm -hmm. or uh, Cloud falls into Aerith's church. Uh, it's during that period, but we're seeing seeing it from other characters' perspectives, including uh, some new characters. Ooh. And it seems to be building on more concepts from the compilation games. The underground lab that we were in previous episode was as well. Uh, introduced in a later uh, spin-off game was the idea of secret underground Shinra labs. Hey, you! Cloud, right? Man, am I glad I caught you. Sam, he told me who you are. Said you're a merc and a former soldier at that. 
Listen, I hate to ask, but we got a few runaway birds. Mind helping us find them? Poor things were so By runaway birds, they, they, they mean Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith. <laughs> I'm sure they're around here somewhere, frightened and hungry. I like in a lot of the conversations with NPCs, Barrett is always looming right over their shoulders, like, as an intimidation tactic. Thank you. But he says such kind things, like, oh man, I can tell you love your birds. Their names are Coco, Lolo, and Momo. They'll come on home once they got some food in their bellies. Good luck. I'm counting on y'all. Uh, so this is also a side quest to start unlocking more fast travel points. Oh. We don't get to ride them ourselves, but you can call uh, chocobo carriages to move you around the map and stuff. Because even but though I want to ride that chocobo, oh, I so want to ride that chocobo. I, even though that's from Final Fantasy Thirteen Two, that really stupid "Ride a Chocobo" song, the heavy metal song, I it's, it's really good. It should be in every Final Fantasy. Yes. You should just go into the options menu, and there's a toggle for it. Do you want "Ride a Chocobo" playing? And it like yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want it riding when I have my, my heartfelt connection to crying Tifa. Yeah. Uh-oh. Look who it is. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm not going to subscribe to your sub stack. No. Oh, it's you, my good Merc. What brilliant timing you have. Oh, hello there. It is a pleasure to meet you both. I'm a journalist for The Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz? You mean that trash filled with Shinra fluff pieces? I feel like Damon here is going to start telling us about how the Hollywood elite will let him make movies, and so he started up his own label of politically incorrect movies. <laughs> That's the vibe I'm getting today. Here's the scoop. A certain division of Shinra that shall remain nameless was planning to seize Corneo's assets. But before they could, the key to his secret vault within which his misbegotten gains were securely tucked away was stolen. And my sources tell me that the thief is the Undercity's beloved hero, the Angel of the Slums! The unidentified bandit who's been targeting anyone with ties to Shinra or Corneo. Does he always yes, ham it up this much, or...? Has struck again. <laughs> the weird thing well, is he works in print. Yeah, like he now. doesn't need to do any of this. But hey, uh, <laughs> we don't have time for a three-act play. Then I'll make this quick. Yeah, where were you last time we talked to Damon? You do remember where the Angel's hideout is, right? Do you remember the death threat she left there? Oh, that. I've decided to seek the silver lining in this case. If the Angel of the Slums deigns to take an interest in a humble reporter, then that itself would be a story. <sighs> what are you asking? If you recover the stolen key, feel free to help yourself to the contents of Corneille's vault. Look, I have All a 2,000 word quota knowledge. every day. Of the <laughs> I need anything. So if you happen to learn anything of value, I'd be tremendously grateful to you if you passed uh, it He along. passed that a while ago, uh, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah. I'm dying to find out who the Angel of the Slums really is. If you learn anything at all, I demand that you tell me. It is a desire that transcends the professional. Could it be love? I hope not. Uh, Damon, are you into gilfs? Gilfs? Cause that, uh, I got some news for you, buddy. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so something that, that you quickly start noticing when you start doing these side quests is, um, mm -hmm. the, the structure of them is a little different this time around because a lot of, uh, side quests either have objectives or other things that you can only obtain by doing other side quests like a lot of them are linked oh. together okay okay yeah it's like either the objectives of one side quest are related to the story of a different separate side quest or one side quest will lead you naturally into finding another one instead of just having them all marked on your map like open world style it's kind of cool also, someone farted real bad. It's, yeah. Again, visible evil auras in Final Fantasy makes it real easy to know where not to go. Um, but that boss we beat in the previous episode uh, gave Tifa Wolverine claws. Damn. So that's pretty cool. Uh, despite being Wolverine claws, these are, uh, out of all of Tifa's weapons, the most uh, magic-based, actually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm.
yeah, almost entirely magic-based upgrades. Uh, there's a pretty handy one that we haven't seen on anything else that, uh... It basically just reduces the amount of MP it costs to cast uh, attack spells. It, like, ah. reduces it by, like, 20%, so... Yeah, there's a couple people that get that reduction, but uh, Tifa's the first to get it. Like, the really basic spells that you still use a lot are only, like, 4 MP, so it's like, mm -hmm. what's, okay, what? 20% of that is nothing, but it, it still reduces it by 1 MP, at least. Right, right, that adds up. So it's, it, yeah, it adds up. Um, and yeah, another weapon where she can start off with some extra uh, chi level, uh, though it's a much smaller percentage. Um. But yeah, that, uh, that intergrade upgrade stuff that got announced, uh, I'm pretty excited for that, that DLC. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> My only worry is they do a thing right at the end where they suddenly flash a, a character at you. It's like, ah, they're going to be the DLC, but it's a character from one of the compilation games, and I'm like, uh-oh! <laughs> it's one of the <laughs> dumbest characters in the whole thing. But they're they're in a VR background, so I'm thinking what they're doing is they're adding random, like... Okay, what if that meant uh, it's one of Chadley's, and Chadley loves the compilation games? Oh, Chadley would love the compilation games. It would allow he? you to summon them. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking they're adding in some, like, old, like, you know... They're just referencing characters of the compilation and adding them as optional boss fights, maybe? And if they if that's the case, that's cool. I like that. Mm -hmm, I just mm -hmm. don't want this specific character to <laughs> to like matter. Yeah. Unless they pull off a miracle and make him like actually pretty interesting, but uh I don't know. It's it's hard to make a character whose name is literally Vice the Immaculate interesting <laughs> to me. <laughs> But I don't know. We'll see. It's it's only off in June. It's not that long. Um, so I'm giving uh, Barrett the the elemental material linked up to fire because uh, we haven't used like any elemental stuff on him at all. Uh, right. Yeah. It's a shame I that like see, I want to see him have a hot shot. Yeah. It, it's a shame that like you know with a fire, it's just his gun's just a little bit on fire. But what I really want <laughs> is like. Because we've already pointed out that the Big Bertha gun looks kind of like Metroid-like, I wanted the different elemental, uh, or the different elements he can link up to his gun to like give actual different like projectiles. So like, you know, lightning is like the wave beam or something, and ice yes. is the freeze beam. It'd That's be what so I want. Good. It'd be so good. Unfortunately, you don't get that, but uh, maybe for the next game <laughs> they'll do that. That would be really cool. I can't believe Cloud just learned to pray. Yeah. I like that praying is a temporary thing. Like, you're just holding a rock and it's like, okay, fine, I'll pray now. I have some <laughs> faith. I mean, he has spent a lot of time with Aerith, who yeah. does quote the Bible. <laughs> lost? Who said we were lost, stupid old man? You're gonna be what lost. Shallow grave. What are you doing out here? <laughs> a lot of loose soil around here. Where's everyone else? Well, we saw a bunch of tombstones lying on the ground, so we decided to stand them back up. And then I heard laughing coming from somewhere, and when I turned around, everyone was gone. I was alone. Uh, I don't know, this this creepy creepypasta isn't doing much. Can you add some realistic blood? D just for starters? I got you, I got you. Hyper-realistic blood. Oh, hyper-realistic, oh my god! The realist blood, it's so scary! That! I heard that, and everyone disappeared! Heads up! <laughs> Missing children, uh, hey, target located. Hey, hey kid, I think I found your friends. Oh man, not again. <laughs> so yeah, phantoms, new variants of the ghosts we fought earlier. Uh, they're way more aggressive. Uh, they're ice-based. Uh, they do a new thing where they like to very rapidly disappear and reappear behind you and hit you with like the frozen claw move and all that uh it can Rude. be hard to can be hard to land like multiple hits on them because they just disappear so frequently mm -hmm. uh they do have a new enemy skill learn from them though uh well, one of the better ones uh 
Also, probably the easiest one to learn. You'll learn it without even realizing half the time, just because it's so easy to get, to get hit by it. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm glad that, like, the story clarifies and even Cloud says that, like, Aerith is a very, like, a, a rare useful resource to Shinra, so they're, like, you know, probably not gonna hurt her, because otherwise, <laughs> otherwise just fucking around with ghosts, <laughs> you know, Aerith is just, like, twiddling her thumbs, like, where the fuck are they? Oh my god. No, but, she, she's up in, like, the penthouse suite of the prison. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um... So yeah, we just learned the enemy skill from these guys. It's Essence Drain. Uh, there's just a big field around this ghost where if you step in it, uh, you'll start taking constant damage, and the Phantom will just constantly heal himself. Oh, that's not nice. That's no good. Having that ability is pretty nice, especially when we have some later materia that we can combo it with. But yeah, it's just a really nice AoE thing that follows whoever casts it, and anyone who's in it gets hurt and it heals you. So if you're ever in any fights with, like, a whole lot of enemies, you're getting healed based off the damage each enemy is taking, so the more enemies, the more healing you're getting. Ah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Watch yourself. Uh, and just like the other ghosts, you can make them, uh, they'll put up a reflect barrier, and if you use the breach spell to remove that, they'll get pressured from that. Although it's really annoying if you, uh... Do what I did, and you, you you get rid of the barrier right here, and then they disappear. <laughs> By the time they're back, they're no longer pressured. Oh uh, no! Yeah, it's it's annoying. Uh, I also gave Barrett the cover materia because he is the beefiest guy. The cover materia is basically meant for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's t uh, Tifa's method of praying. I've never actually checked to see what Barrett looks like when he prays, because everyone has a different animation for praying. <laughs> Every, everyone's got their own way of worshipping the Lord, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, they have their own personal Jesus. <laughs> Someone who hear your spells. Someone who tells you how to behave. <laughs> So something I just remembered about this game is the the demo that came out for this. It was originally supposed to come out a few months earlier than it actually did, and people figured this out because there are ways to monitor the PlayStation Store servers and see what's getting uploaded there, and so people were actually able to figure out how to download that demo onto uh, jailbroken PlayStation 4s and play it, you know, a few months before the actual release of the demo. Um, and those people also data mined the demo, and there was so much stuff in that demo. Uh, there were uh, images and subtitle files and some voice acting files, I think, of like really late game cutscenes in there that were basically final version. Uh, and yeah, it's I had to avoid those spoilers for fucking months. <laughs> <laughs> you kid. Your ghost got busted. Guys! Oats! Look! Cloud's here too! So why'd you kids come out all this way? This is where our parents are. They're resting, but we wanted to say hi. Sometimes you just want to do that, you know? I do. These Thanks kids look so like they're gonna walk down the us. railroad tracks and find a dead area. body. Oh, Let me yeah. Head back to the house now. Ms. Foley is probably pretty worried. Hey, Cloud, I found this on the ground. You should take it. I think it might come in handy. Bunch of little smart asses. Giving us presents and stuff. With good hearts. So the kids give you a time materia. I don't know why these kids have this. It's one of the most useful uh, magic materia in the game. Uh, even before you level it up, it already has access to the haste spell, so if we link that uh -huh. up with Magnify, we can speed everybody up with a single cast. Uh, we no longer have to <laughs> constantly try and steal uh, haste-giving items from uh, uh, Beck's badasses anymore. <laughs> it's just much easier to do it this way. And I will be... Uh, I will be using like the fast travel stuff a couple times just to show it off because they made 
There's three different arrangements of the Chocobo theme just for the loading screens for fast travel. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes I might just edit out walking because I, I really want that pedometer materia done sooner than later. Mm hmm. And it's. If you fast travel, you're losing out on so many steps, so many calories that you could be, you could be burning. Now, does the pedometer's calorie counter include the, the, the load you're carrying? Mm. Surely you're, you're burning more uh, than if you were taking all these steps unburdened. Right. Hey, bud. <coughs> quick, quick, I'm right back at you. I always want to know what they use to make the, the chocobo noises. A chocobo? They, they just record one. Oh man, of course. Again, I want to ride that chocobo. Yeah. <laughs> what do I need to do to accomplish this? Oh, Rust Drake. He hasn't put out a new album in a while. <laughs> Steady. So yeah, we got oh, the wow. Rust Drake. Uh, the strongest Drake variant. I think this is the only one you fight, except for maybe if there's other arena fights that have him. Uh, he's a huge fucking pain in the ass. I hate this guy. <laughs> uh, the big problem, uh, his absorbed element is just magic. Any and all magic, if you hit him with it, he gets healed by it. Doesn't matter what it is. Uh, so you're basically uh, relegated to only using physical attacks on him. We only have Barret who can easily hit him, even when it's moving. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the, he has two abilities that make this fight a pain. The first one is this black hole thing. If you're near the black hole, you just constantly lose health. And if you're not near the black hole, uh, it's it draws you into it very quickly. Mm -hmm. Even if you're like all the way across the map, it's it's still pulling you in. Give him hell! Okay, let's go. There's only a one way to pressure him, uh, and I'm putting haste on everybody. Uh, to, to accomplish that, because otherwise you're almost definitely never going to pressure him in time before he fucks you up really bad. <laughs> Man, I, I literally- this is literally like my fifth take of this guy, because he just kept fucking me- <laughs> fucking me up. But it's because of this gravity spell. Uh, he, it takes him like 10 seconds or so to charge it up. Uh, and then once he hits you with it, uh, no matter- even if you're blocking or if you have a mana ward shield up or anything, it- nothing lets you avoid or take less damage from this. It's just- it takes like 95% of your health off. Mm -hmm. So your whole party either ends up with either 1 HP or n near 1 HP. And literally the only way to avoid that attack is if you do a shitload of damage to it while it's charging up the spell. You have to take out like a quarter of its health in 10 seconds. And if you don't have enough gauge filled up, that's not gonna happen. Right, yeah. I'm ending this. <laughs> We make a decent team. <laughs> Who would have thought, huh? Now feed that bird. Gotta feed that bird. Hungry bird. Scared bird. <laughs> oh no, he's shaking. I'm glad the chocobos in this game look very friendly because their talons are basically swords. <laughs> if they kicked you, you're fucking dead. <laughs> Yeah, every Chocobo we rescue is a new fast travel point. But yeah, the, the thing we fed him are, are Gizzle Greens. Uh, uh, it's a radish is what it is. Yeah, it's just a radish. Uh, in Final Fantasy XV, you could buy these as like... Uh, like veggie chips mm. <laughs> in bags. <laughs> Yeah, I can't quite remember, but I feel like at some point I looked at the menu at the uh, the Square Enix Cafe and there was some type of Gizzle Green based <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. snack thing you could get. Uh, th those chips just remind me of the worst party I ever went to. <laughs> oh no, how bad? It, well, it was mostly fine, but like the the first the, the host was like, "Oh yeah, don't worry about food. I'll have snacks. You'll be fine." Mm -hmm. The snacks were a single bowl of kale chips. What? There were twenty people. No, that's one chip was, a person basically. It was awful. That's a that is, I have never seen a snack situation that bad at a party before. That's pretty. That's pretty bad. 
No That's the way to do it. God, look at that thruster bell. Yeah, it's pretty big. I, I never pointed it out really, but um, back in Aerith's church, there's like a big structure or pillar that looks like it's crashed to the ceiling. That is actually a failed rocket of Shinra's that just crashed straight through the ceiling of the building. Oh dear me! Yeah. Hey. Hey there, Mark. You want a date? Brought some friends today, I see. I can set Names you up with somebody. Marais. Yeah, totally. Cloud and me, we, well, let's just say we're recent acquaintances. What are you doing here? Same thing as you, if I had to guess. Hunting for Don Corneo's fortune. Now, how'd you know about that? <laughs> well. There's nothing I love more than a good rumor. But I decided to fact check this one myself. Hey, what monsters are bothering you? There seems to be a pattern here. Yeah. If the angel of the slums got to it first, then I'm guessing that guild is as good as gone. Sounds like a reasonable assumption. But you know, that's not the rumor that's been making the rounds. Humor me real quick. A question. Hypothetically. If you did manage to get your hands on this treasure, what do you think you would do with it? Rebuild Easy. Sector 7. Make sure the people of Sector 7 had the means to get back on their feet. That's what. Yeah, there we go. We'd use that creep's fortune to better the lives of everyone down here. Hmm. Right. Back to this rumor. Word on the street says the angel doesn't have the key. If you want the full story, talk to Kyrie. She may be young, but she knows everything about everyone. She's easy to spot, too. Striped stockings, big hat. Girl doesn't exactly fit in. Where is she? Oh, who knows? I'm too old to keep up with kids her age these days. You understand. Now, that rebuilding may be a very roundabout way of me buying a shiny new gun for my arm that lets me shoot President Shinra in the fucking face. That's a way of rebuilding. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single assassination. <laughs> That's true. Oh yeah, there's also a note from Ray here, just like where to find those Corneo doors if you forgot where they were, but... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember. I played enough Metroids. I uh, can't believe I was right. Yeah. I can't believe I was right that you're, you're going to get sent back there. <laughs> Well, at least we're not becoming friends with Don Corneo to do it, at least. Yeah. <laughs> we already have one unethical friend in uh, Chocobo Sam. Don't want a Seriously. second one, please. So wrong. Oh, yeah, so uh, with Tifa, we've got the, the Wolverine Claws. Uh, comes with a new move. Yeah. Uh, it's Chi Trap, her only magic based ability. Uh, she'll slam the ground and leave just a magic orb floating in off the Ooh. ground. Uh, and if enemies are touching it, they just take constant magic damage. Ooh, touch that orb. Uh, and uh, if you use the uh, Chi Trap on later enemies, or, or enemies that easily flinch, every time they get hit by the orb, they will flinch and just get stunlocked by it. <laughs> uh, it's not in this video. I'll try to do it in some, like... In a later video, but uh, <laughs> Told you so. depending on the enemy, like if they're if you can juggle them or or, or make them flinch at all, uh, the chi trap move lets you do lots of really crazy Devil May Cry style juggles. It's pretty funny. <laughs> all right, we still need to get f uh, flowers from Aerith, so to the church. That's, that's the formal wear for Chocobo Sam's uh, <laughs> stable hands. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Anytime we get a new Chocobo arrangement, I guess I'll leave the loading screen in. Well, keep waiting or go home. Home might be the better option. At this rate, they'll probably I also like the uh, fast traveling to this <laughs> spot and immediately being affronted by Johnny crying to the side. <laughs> what are you thinking? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Crawl into a hole and die! My head is spinning. Oh, Johnny, Johnny, you're freaking people head. out here. <laughs> Bro! Tifa! 
Damn, is it good to see you guys again? Oh, nothing for Barrett? I told you to stop calling me that. Bro, I'm in serious need of your expertise. Lend me a hand. Fine. What? Truth is, I'm uh, trying to get out of town for uh, reasons. Yeah, reasons. I did something real but bad the in the alleys of Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> real, real bad. I, I don't want to talk about it. She took it. Took it all, man. <sighs> I tried to chase her down. I really did. But she was real fast, like. Man, what am I gonna do? Wow, how fast must she be? <laughs> right? It's supersonic. You help me out. Come on, bro. <sighs> What'd she look like? Bro. Uh, hold on. Let me think. I wanna get this right. She was a cutie. Black hair. Pretty sure she was wearing a hat. What's the stocking and, uh, situation? Oh, yeah. She was wearing these striped stockings, too. Curie? Which way'd she go? Uh, toward the church, I think. Bro, do me a solid. Get my money back. Looked like she was hurt real bad, so I stopped to help. And this is the thanks I get. Okay, I think the bad thing Johnny did was he and the dressmaker guy got way too fucked up, and the dressmaker guy is dead now. <laughs> <laughs> the dressmaker guy is dead, and uh, Johnny doesn't even know how he did it. He just woke up next to a dead body. Johnny didn't do it, but there's no way he'll be able to prove he didn't. It was some <laughs> just bizarre, like, final destination series of events. Yeah. But the only reasonable conclusion, however false, is that Johnny this murdered a man. <laughs> Ah, ah. You couldn't catch up with that, Johnny? <laughs> Pathetic. What's happened to you? Okay, she's gone. Maybe she is really fast. She saw you coming. Yeah. She really turned it on. <laughs> <laughs> Just wish you could hear, like, a sonic boom. <laughs> Just a little... <laughs> <laughs> We meet again, my old this friend. Ah, the old hedgehog pie. Yeah, these guys are easier to make flinch, so if we throw a, a chi trap down here, if they walk into it. There we go. It's constant flinching. Um, yeah, chi trap is only really useful damage wise if you have Tifa spec out to be a magic user. Uh, there's also a really uh, nice thing you can do here where uh, if you've got two gauge ready on Tifa, you can actually drop two chi traps on top of each other and do double the damage with them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the orbs don't move or track enemies at all, so fast enemies, it's not as useful, but uh, if you got something slow or especially if you got something staggered, you just drop those, those orbs down and... Uh, Mm -hmm. Or in a tight hallway like that. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no walking away from this. So you'd better run. <laughs> it's so happy. It's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I think the hedgehog pies are one of my favorite designs from this first one. They're so good. They're so good. Hey, buddy. Are you being accosted by hedgehogs? <laughs> A suicidal robot, maybe? What do we got? I love Cloud just slapping the greens down. Hey, eat that. Eat it. Right there. Eat it. I won't hold it. Off the ground. You, you, mm, eat it. Yeah, thankfully not every chocobo has a mini boss <laughs> just waiting behind it to ambush you. He's gonna hand feed the final chocobo, and we're gonna think it's adorable. Ah, that would be such nice. incredible growth. Yeah, uh, I like that this area here is like the only area really where you can see any like resemblance of there being buildings and like. A normal city here at some point before he got all fucked mm -hmm. up, and also the the only sign of like an uh, 
an institutional response with those barriers. Yeah, yeah. Give me those. I need- I need this. This is herbs now. <laughs> hey. Heard you talking shit. You are the source of th at least three different problems right now. Fucking fix it. What? It wasn't me! You've got the wrong girl! Never committed a crime in my life! You Kyrie? Uh, Kyrie? Who's that? No, no, I'm Kyrie. Yeah, it's a different it, game. I'm sorry. <laughs> people always say that. <laughs> Someone mugged our friend and took every last skill he had. Sound familiar? Oh, that? <laughs> Ooh, I thought I was in actual trouble. Don't scare me like that. Now I remember you. You're that chick. The one who was spreading lies in Sector 5. Oh yeah, I did do that. <laughs> good times, good times. <gasps> Hold on. I know you, Blondie. You're that merc everyone's talking about. <sighs> Maybe my luck's not so bad. Shinra's after me. You've got to help me. So from them too, did you? No. Well, yes, sorta. Of. It's complicated. How was I supposed to know they were Shinra? And now those the logo? Won't leave me alone. <laughs> it's on literally <laughs> every single <laughs> thing that is theirs. <laughs> They're pretty <laughs> branded. Anyway. Yeah. Wait a minute. That was you? <sighs> oh, great. This is the final so everyone's boss. Everyone's talking about it. <laughs> is this the end? Am I a dead woman? We were talking on uh, the episode that came out last week, uh, talking about how like a lot of crime syndicates don't really have much branding like Don Corneo does. I just did think of one more that has great branding, Team Rocket. And the key. She does have a bit of a Pokemon outfit. Yeah, she's pretty close to being a trainer. Yeah, yeah. The hat is very much a, a Pokemon trainer hat. Mm -hmm. We'll handle Shinra if you give us the key. Deal? It's a deal. Right about now, those Shinra creeps should be hanging out at the Coliseum. They're waiting for a special match to start, starring yours truly. It's the talk of the town. You're joking. Oh, I won't be there. I'm not stupid. It's a miracle you've managed to stay alive this long. I'll take that as a compliment. Now run along and clean up my mess. What? <laughs> You'll get your key once I know I'm safe. Man, if I'd known he was Shinra, well, lesson learned. Thanks, guys. Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm just sleep. I. Look, just just follow the waypoint. Don't worry about it. It yeah. is whatever. Yeah, this that thing right there is the the failed rocket that that fell through the crash to the ceiling. Um, yeah, Kyrie comes off as one of those people with one of those energies where it's just like you can't even talk to her because you just, she just <laughs> steers the conversation in whatever fucking direction she wants, and you're just like, I'm leaving. Goodbye. And now we're doing her a favor, I guess. What? Why would <laughs> you set up a Coliseum match <laughs> with Shinra people? What is the advantage of that? <laughs> what are you getting out of that? What's the plan? <laughs> Help me uh, understand, Kyrie. <laughs> Please. The plan is to not go, but they can't just not have a Coliseum match. So, like, a Void Drake gets thrown in there or whatever, <laughs> and, and then your problem's solved? I think? Hmm... I think? Hmm. I backed out of my Pokemon tournament match. Go in my place. Alright, so we have the other two, uh... The resolution cutscenes, uh, mm -hmm. based on different choices you make. So the biggest, uh, influences on who you get at the start of chapter 14 here is based on the amount of side quests you do. Every oh. single side quest you do with either Tifa or Aerith adds a couple points to their relationship meter. So if you say do all of Tifa's side quests but do less or none of Aerith's, you're probably going to get Tifa and vice versa. And some of the conversation choices you make, some of the dialogue choices also uh, add to those values, mm -hmm. which... Wh which one you wake up after falling in the poop hole. Yeah, yep. And if you want Barrett, who is the most difficult to get, probably the easiest way to do that is just don't do any side quests. <laughs> <laughs> because Barrett is for people who are main focused. Hey, 
as he contemplates a waterfall. Ah. He's finding his center. Ah. Barrett hasn't talked about it much, but I bet he's into the more hippy-dippy side of planetology, too. Is there any other side of planetology? We're I mean... <laughs> the planet is crying out all the time. You should rest up while you can. Likewise. No, I'm good. Real good. <laughs> Besides, when I close my eyes, I start thinking about things. About people. Like Finn. Lazy little punk. Kid would do damn near anything except what you told him. But ask him to paint you a picture, and boy, howdy. Those stamps in the tunnels. Finn's work. Every one. Then there's Al. Intel guy. He had these tricks for stealing codes I still don't understand. Stole his share of hearts, too. But when it came to the ladies, he just had the one trick. Bouquet of flowers hidden behind his back. Funny to think, some of them might have even come from here. He pulled a flower trick on Tifa once, believe it or not. <laughs> she told him where to stick them. Of course she did. Our quartermaster Nellie had a good laugh at that. She was tight with Jesse. People sometimes took them for sisters, even. They'd say no way and get upset, but then they'd start giggling and, you know. Yeah, they'll all be fine. They're strong, they're tough, like me. <laughs> Barrett's so fucking good. <laughs> Barrett's really good. I love Barrett. I am so sad that this is the hardest one to get because it's a really great. good Barrett I moment. I like I'd it a lot. Yes. Talking with your hard boiled ass. Think you can sleep now? Oh yeah, like a baby. One of my favorite expansions to this is just everything, uh, all the new character stuff they do with Barrett. It just kicks ass. Both the dad stuff and the avalanche stuff, it's all good. Because he's the dad of avalanche. <laughs> it's all dad stuff. We do get something, too, if uh, our relationship with Aerith is higher than anyone else's. How did Barrett sneak out for the best? <laughs> <laughs> he could be a stealth master if he wants. See, see, this is the, the speedrunner's solution. You get to skip, like, three chapters if you just find uh, uh, Aerith right here. Yeah, she just slipped out while the guards were, like, on a pee break or something, and it was uh, really easy. Apologies for the plorb in the background of all of this. I was on a New Game Plus run, so I could just load chapters real easy, so all the materia <laughs> reappears. <laughs> How is this? Is this a dream? Maybe. You tell me. You okay? Don't I look it? I used to live in the Shinra building, back when I was really little. Hmm. Your mom told us. Right. So it kind of feels like I've gone back to my childhood home, you know? Honestly, it's not that bad. You can do all the side quests you want. Okay. Phew. So you want to stay? Come on, Cloud. Don't be silly. 
Your mom's really worried too. Hmm? Too? So you're worried about me? Uh, of course I am. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Really. I'm just too charming, I know. It, everybody gets like this with me. <laughs> she would say that, though. <laughs> Is that... Everyone dies eventually. I suppose. So we need to make the most of the time we have. To live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. I'll remember that. Good. So... You need to embrace this moment, right? I'll embrace it the same way I embrace every moment I spent trying to fight Johnny's wallet. <laughs> I'll embrace it like I embrace Tifa, I really eventually. <laughs> and a little too hard. For all the words we've shared, for all the moments and the memories, you've made me more happy than you know. And I'll always cherish what you've given me. But... But whatever happens, you can't fall in love with me. I got rejected before I even thought of the idea, damn it! Even if you think you have, it's not real. I'm in a video game, Cloud, and so are you. <laughs> Time to die. Do I get a say in all this? It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. If that's what you want, thank you. <laughs> 